Hey guys, it's Virtual, and I just wanted to briefly show you guys how the RDMS system in Dill Universe works. So this is what you use to share your items with people and to set up uh, more advanced systems like that for maybe your organization. Now the most basic thing you should know is that you can right-click a uh, territory unit or also a ship or an element on the ship and just click um, share construct, share territory, or share, share element with friends, organization, or publicly for all. Okay, so like I can, with the organizations that I'm in, I can select to share with my my corporation, click, and now it's shared, right? Now, um, if you have a friend that's nearby, it'll say share with player like Danjo815. So if he was standing a couple meters from me, then I'd be able to share it specifically with him. So that works really well if you want to just uh, let someone fly your ship or something. Um, like I said, this also works with, uh, with ships, and I'm just using the territory unit right now as a demonstration. Now you can also make tags on the RDMS system. All of the things you place automatically have a tag. So this I have named like, I don't remember exactly what the name is, but it's like ZC City 01 or something as the name of the territory. And that tag automatically will appear in my personal RDMS here. So yeah, here it is, ZC City. So this is my TCU that I claimed and the automatically created tag. All of the other tags in here are the ships that I've owned. So they've also created tags. Now I can make a custom tag if I wanted, so uh, what if I, mm, let's say, I will just make up something interesting. Tag random base one. Okay, so I'm going to create that tag, and now the tag can be used in the policies tab. So if I, uh, well, I'll show you actually how actors work first. So an actor could be a player, a group of players, an organization. Um, or multiple organizations and a combination of players, right? So to create an actor, I just click create, into the name, description if you want, and then I can uh, either select an existing actor that I want to add to my new actor, or I can um, type in here players or organizations. So maybe I wanted to add um, Danjo. Right, I could add him to my random base, and then I could also add my corporation. So I can add my, my corporation and then Danjo to my base, and I can create this actor, right? Actor name is enter. <laughs> All right, so got to name the actor. Anyway, I've created the actor, Zenith, and Danjo. So now if I go to my policies, I can create a policy. access to random base, and then I can select the actor. So I'm, I'm going to say uh, Zenith and Danjo, right? Maybe I don't want to go back to the actors and add another player. I could go in here, and I could add uh, I could add somebody else, right, to also this actor. And everybody that plays the game has their actor, but the actors tab slash create actor is used for uh, putting them in groups, like I said. So now I can, uh, I can pick a right. So maybe... I want the people to be able to, hmm, let me think. So maybe I want them to view container contents, but I don't want them to remove items. I don't want them to retrieve items from the container, so we'll just leave it as view container contents. And now I'll go ahead and find my custom tag. Uh, where is the random? So random base one, okay. So now I've got this policy made up called access to random base. And now I can right click on the territory or whatever I want to use. I can set territory rights. And then I can apply the tag that I've created. Random base one. And now the territory gets the, uh, the permissions for that. Now in the RDMS system, you can actually see what rights they have. And uh, the rights that apply to a territory are like dig territory, harvest, and place cores, and other items like that. The, uh, the things like view from container apply directly to a ship. So let's just pretend for a second that this ship was actually a base. I could right click the base and I could say I want to add a construct right. So now I can go ahead and add the tag random base one to my construct. And now the people in the random base one that have access to view in the container will be able to come into my ship and view the container's contents. Well, now maybe, I mean, we realize, like, this door is closed, right? And they're like, oh, I can't get through the door. So I can actually right-click on the element also if I wanted to. Well, you have the construct rights, which are global. And then I could right-click on the element and 
um, give its own tag. So I can make like a tag called access to doors or something and then go set element rights and then I could add the access to doors tab. We'll just do the random base one here. And then once the, once the tag is added then people will be able to just open the doors in my ship but they won't be able to fly it for example. So that is how the RDMS system is really useful and I can show you a really advanced um, application of it and it's in my corporation's tags, right? So if I uh, if I go to tags or actually actors, we can see like we have prospects, which are new new people to the organization, and then like managers, which are people that help run the organization. So the prospects in the policies tab won't be added to the retrieve or withdraw from container policy, right? But if I open up to edit this policy, I can see that the managers are, right? So this just means that any construct with the with one of the tags that I've selected will be able to the managers will be able to view and withdraw from the container but the prospects will not be able to withdraw from the container so um, so that's just the example of how that's used anyway I really hope this helped you guys out let me know if you have any questions and I'll try to I'll try to get to you anyway thank you very much for watching see ya